Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm going to review this professional phone video rig kit that's sold by the company Small Rig. So this video may be a bit long. If you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written. The link is in the video description below, or you can use the timestamps provided to jump to different sections of this video. So what I'm going to cover are the things included, how you can set up the rig, the usability and the overall user experience. So just to give you the bottom line up front, this is quite an effective rig kit for people who want to film with their smartphones as their main recording device. It's very functional because you can attach power banks, your mic, a light to your setup and in terms of handling it's also um, pretty good the overall build quality is excellent the company has included all possible accessories that you may need when it comes to recording with your smartphone and you get all this for us 169 dollars now just a disclaimer this is actually a review unit from the company but i'm not paid to make this video Having said that, for US $169, I do think it's a pretty good deal because um, this will save you time from having to find all the individual parts and buy them separately and also have to worry about whether or not the parts are going to work together. So um, yeah, in terms of value for money, this is a pretty good deal for your money. These are the items included. Two things come to mind. The company has done a pretty good job at including all the possible items that you may need when it comes to filming or recording with your smartphone. And secondly, with the exception of the cage and the two handles, all these items here are replaceable. So for example, if the light is damaged, you can easily buy another light from another brand. Same goes with the mic and all the cables here. So here we have the cage, the two handles for the cage. This is the power bank holder that you can attach to the back of the cage. LED light with adjustable color temperature. This is the cold shoe mount for the light. You are supposed to attach this to the handle there. Four Allen keys here, two screws. There are two more Allen keys. One is hidden in each of the handles right at the bottom so you can just pull them out very easily. And they are held in place with magnets. Two 3.5mm audio cables are included. One has a TRRS connector. So this is for the smartphone and this is a TRS connector for a typical camera with a 3.5mm audio jack. Directional microphone with foam that can be removed, shock mount for the mic, dead cat or furry windshield, a small tabletop tripod. These two adapters are for the power bank and this is a USB-C to USB type A cable, Velcro, uh, Velcro cable ties, there are two. Let's take a closer look at this cage. The build quality is solid. This is extremely stiff and it has a nice matte textured surface to it. It's full metal and the finishing is really nice and the color is also really nice. So this cage is actually made up of, um, from what I can see, five parts, one, two, three, four, five, all screwed together. And on the sides, there are a lot of holes for attachments actually on all four sides so this knob here is for attaching sorry for adjusting this phone holder and this can hold like a really wide phone a big phone there are some holes here for this power bank holder that you can screw on very easily and this knob is for adjusting the width for the holder on this side there is a cold shoe mount and here as well so these are for the shock mount for the microphone let's attach the handle to the side here so you don't need any special equipment to do the attachment here you just have to tighten this and if you want to you can use the allen key here to tighten this like real tight to make sure this does not move at 
all. This is quite convenient. Notice the two extra protrusions here. The protruded parts are actually for the grooves here. So once you screw this on, the protruded part will prevent the handle from moving. You know how sometimes when you mount your camera on your tripod plate and with usage the tripod plate will become loose? You are not going to have that problem here with this design. This mount for the light will go here or the other handle, whichever one you prefer. And you can use the two screws or nut provided to secure this. If you want to record for the whole day, definitely use an external power bank. So this power bank holder can be attached vertically or horizontally. So I'm going to attach this vertically. Both the phone holder and this power bank holder have rubber pads at the right places to prevent scratches. This is the LED light included. There are 96 LED light beads. 48 are white, the other 48 are for adjusting the color temperature and the design is very clean and simple. They have this white diffuser already uh, fixed on. And this is the current portable light that I'm using. I definitely like this one because you can adjust the color temperature just uh, by using the dial. Whereas for this, I actually have to switch the plate. So this light can be recharged using USB-C and the battery capacity is 2200 mAh. To power, just press the button to adjust the brightness. Just use the dial here to adjust the color temperature. Press once and again use the dial. Battery life indicator is here on the left. At the bottom here, you have this mount. You can also mount this on the tripod. Let's secure the light to the mount. There is something in front that prevents this from going through. So the only way this can come out is from this side here. The installation process is very straightforward and very quick. So let's put the mic onto the shock mount. There is rubber here to prevent the microphone from moving. So this is actually quite tight, very nice. Make sure you use the right cable for the smartphone. If you use the camera cable for the smartphone, it's not going to work. So I need to use this adapter. This is a lightning to 3.5 adapter because I'm using an iPhone. I'm going to have the mic go here. And now let's put the phone in the phone holder. So the maximum width here is 8.5 centimeters. This iPhone with the case on is 8 centimeters. So this cage can hold a rather big phone. So this part here is movable and this can hit against a hard surface and make noise. By the way, this mic, uh, by the way, you should push the mic all the way to the back so that this shock mount will go here in the groove. So I'm just going to use the Velcro cable tie included to secure this adapter right here. The included tripod is much better than I expected. The build quality is like solid. This is full metal throughout except for the knobs here. So this plate here can be removed. It's a ball head tripod, so you can adjust this very easily. There's a level here. And this is for adjusting the rotation. So you can push it down here and you can rotate this to pan your camera. There is no height adjustment for this tripod. So the height is determined by how wide the legs are and the hinge is quite stiff so this can hold the cage uh, without the tripod actually going lower so that's nice or if you need to you can still tighten the legs some more to really like lock the legs at the bottom here we have uh, rubber this provides a very nice grip to the surface 
or if you want to use the tripod um, like this like the vlogging style you can do so it's quite comfortable to hold and now let's attach the tripod plate to the cage so there are three holes here there are three holes on each side for the handle for the tripod plate so you can attach whatever uh, parts to whichever positions you like this is how the setup looks the weight for everything not including the phone is slightly more than 1.2 kg so with the phone added we are looking at slightly more than 1.4 kg less than 1.5 kg so this is definitely going to be heavier compared to just using a phone on a tripod the weight is still quite manageable because you're going to be handling the rig with the two handles so the main selling point here obviously is you can attach a mic a power bank lights to your phone to use your phone as your main recording device and if you want to record your video in vertical format for whatever reason you can easily just rearrange all this attachment so that this rig is vertical so right now i'm outdoors recording with the small rig phone mount and this is recorded using the vlogging style i have one hand on a tripod and this is how it looks and this is whether or not there is any stabilization i think the stabilization should be quite good so this is the setup it's a bit heavy but definitely not as heavy compared to mounting a dslr on a camera so i can definitely hold this for much longer compared to when i'm using my dslr or mirrorless camera and this is how it's going to look uh, when you point this at someone you can also hold with two hands actually when you're recording like this you should hold with two hands but if you are filming yourself you can hold with one hand so right now i'm recording with an iphone that has optical image stabilization for the main lens and i'm holding the tripod with two hands so this is the stabilization you can expect from the small rig phone mount let me just pan around the bicycle that I have here so later on I will be switching over to a Samsung camera that has no stabilization for the lens and you can compare and see how smooth the footage will be compared to the iPhone let me do a flyover it's definitely quite stable when I'm filming like this with two hands on the rig and it's also very easy to control the rig compared to holding the tripod with one hand and this is the audio quality you can expect from the directional mic the audio quality should be quite good I've just switched to the zoom lens and this also has optical image stabilization so I'm going to try and pan as slowly as possible to try to keep the footage smooth it's quite easy to film or record from a low angle with this mount with this rig so now I'm recording with the front facing camera or the selfie camera of my Samsung S21 Ultra the audio quality is actually from the phone's mic not from the directional mic for some reason I wasn't able to get the directional mic to work with this phone the directional mic actually works with the iPhone so it could be an issue with either the app on this phone or with the phone itself so this is the stabilization you can expect when walking around while holding the phone mount with just one hand the stabilization looks pretty smooth to me so that's great but it is a bit heavy so i don't think i can hold this for too long and now i'm recording with the main camera on the samsung phone while holding the phone rig with two hands there is optical stabilization with this main camera because i'm using the default samsung camera app 
and this is the stabilization you can expect with the OIS and the phone rig let me just pan around this bicycle again so the footage should be smooth as in the footage should not have too much handshake Alright, to conclude, this is a well-designed rig. The build quality is solid and it comes with all the features you may need to record professional looking videos with your phone and it's very easy to use. It's a very effective rig. So earlier on, I had some issues with the directional mic with the Samsung phone and I discovered that it was an issue with the adapter because after I switched to a different adapter, I was able to record the audio. Another issue I faced was while recording halfway, um, this thing became a bit loose. So I had to tighten this. Um, anyway, when it comes to using this rig, you should tighten everything before you head out just so that you won't have any movable parts that may introduce noise, unwanted noise. So in terms of value for money, I would say this is quite a good value for money. Yep, so this is definitely something I can recommend easily for people who want to film with your smartphone.